Shawn Michaels versus Hacksaw Doug in a lumberjack match. May I for a while? Have at it. Bro, I remembered this match was great, and I was not wrong. And uh, the story of the match is that Hacksaw beat up Shawn Michaels for about 15 straight minutes. And uh, this was like a this was like a Ric Flair style match, where it's like Sean just sold and sold and sold, and every now and then he cut the guy off, and he would immediately give it back, and he would sell, and he would sell, and he would bump, and he would flip, and he would turn. It's a fucking lumberjack match. There's lumberjacks surrounding the ring, because of course, if you get thrown outside, lumberjacks have free reign to do whatever they want to get your ass back in the ring. One point he tries to flee. The lumberjacks grab him. They drag his ass back to the ring. It's had to be one of the best Hacksaw Jim Duggan matches I ever saw in my life. I'm sure he had probably you know much better stuff in the early '80s, but WWE Hacksaw Jim Duggan. This had to have been his best match. Oh, there's more. Well, I was gonna keep going, but I just uh, uh, Vinny, please recap the finish. Please. Well, I will. I must say, Brian, uh, you like the match more than I did. It's a lot of Sean being Sean, which is awesome, mm-hmm. but it goes on forever. At some point, Sean is actually bumping like he did for Hulk Hogan. Yes. Uh, just ridiculous. He'd take a punch and like do a spin in the air. And Great. Then... <laughs> you ever seen a normal Hacksaw Duggan match? <laughs> Not as good. Huge improvement. There was movement, action. <laughs> You know, I hadn't thought of that. Bro, all he does is clubbering forearms, lariats, and he goes, oh, that's it. That's his whole fucking gimmick. Brian, I was kidding. You're not wrong. Spinning, flipping, flopping all over. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. Right? For a long ass time. Uh, The crowd is bored. They're doing a tomahawk chant for Tatanka. The tomahawk tomahawk chop chant for Tatanka. Which at the time, I think meant they liked him, but you watch him now, it feels like they're taunting him. <laughs> Things are different. <laughs> Hacksaw did hit a backdrop to the heavens at one point. Sean was flying through the sky in this backdrop. And then Hacksaw's making a comeback. He interrupts his own comeback to do a chin lock. <laughs> you know, Sean always did this thing that I just could never figure out. But I mean, he's Sean, so I guess I shouldn't like ask questions. But, you know, uh, that video that I put on my Twitter of... Uh, YWF there's a shot of of me and my buddies practicing backdrops and I go running and two of them toss me and I fucking fly up in the air and land on my back for the backdrop and uh I don't know if it was because I was a gymnast or whatever but I got through I got thrown up in the air and I got turned over and I always knew where the ground was going to be in the air yes it's Shawn Michaels is like he's so fucking great but every time this guy takes a backdrop in midair he has to turn to look to find out where the ground is. Yes. I'm like, what? You have to look to see where the fucking ground is? It's down there. <laughs> How do you not know where the fucking ground is? He you did gymnastics. Down. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, and I don't think I've seen anyone else ever take a backdrop and have to look to see where the fucking ground's at. He's like the only guy, <laughs> but he's the best guy. <laughs> Why? It makes zero... It's like if Ricochet did all these crazy moves, but then there was like a hip toss, and he had to look to see where the fucking ground was or whatever. It's preposterous. But anyway, he takes a big backdrop. Yeah. The ground is down... It there. is! Okay. I yes, of course Thank it's you. down there. If I you thought... go up, the ground is down there. Even if you're at the North Pole. That's actually true. Yes. That is true. Even if you're the South Pole. It's still true. They throw you up, and it's still down there. I think we've all learned something tonight. Down Thank where? You, you know where. Go ahead, Vinny. All right. So this match goes on for 20, 25 minutes. Oh, wasn't that long. There were two commercial breaks, dude. <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> so Bam Bam Bigelow gets in the apron. <laughs> this distracts Duggan. Uh, Perfect goes to confront Bam Bam, mm-hmm. which lets Yokozuna lay out Jim Duggan. Now, we should point out that before the match even began... The Lumberjacks all come out. They all have the matching red and plaid flannel, except Yokozuna, because they couldn't find one big enough for him. Well, he always right. wears black and red anyway. That's also true. That's also true. But Hacksaw Duggan comes out, gets in this ring, and begins to beat up Yokozuna. What a dick. Yokozuna's gear is like a macro shot of my shirt. I suppose it is. Yeah. 
If Yoko Zuno was like an inch tall, it would fit right in with your, uh, your, 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 your plaid there. Anyway, the point is, when Yokozuna attacks Hacksaw at the end of this match, I thought he was justified. I didn't blame him one bit. Sure. So Yokozuna beats the crap out of Duggan, does the big-ass leg drop on the floor, throws him into the ring. It's all over. It's academic. Sean just walks over, puts one foot on Duggan's chest, and puts a fist in the air. He's all happy. And the ref counts one, and the ref counts two, and then Mr. Perfect hits Shawn Michaels. We go to commercial. There's a big melee and confusion, and Hacksaw clears the ring with his uh, board. And after commercial, the ref says, or excuse me, the ring announcer says, ladies and gentlemen, your winner via disqualification. Mm -hmm. Vinny, you, you missed something. Duggan. Before commercial, when Shawn Michaels was attacked, the referee turns and signals for the fucking bell. I knew long before the announcement that this was a disqualification in a lumberjack match. Mm -hmm. Okay? What is a fucking lumberjack match? It's a match where if guys fall outside the ring, the lumberjacks are there to throw them back in so they can't run away. So you're fucking telling me that Jack Tunney came up with a match where a dozen fuckers are going to surround the ring wearing flannel. And if you roll out of the ring, they have free reign to do whatever the fuck they want to you. They can stomp you. They can kick you. They can punch you. They can slam you. They can prevent you from running away. They can drag your ass back to the ring. They can do anything they want to you outside the ring. Anything they want. But if they lay one finger on you inside the ring, it is a disqualification. I was fucking furious. I was so mad. Now I'm thinking there has to be another Shawn Michaels hacksaw <laughs> Jim Duggan match. Because how would we have watched this a few years ago and I would not remember that they went to a fucking disqualification qualification in a fucking lumberjack match that is like being counted out of nowhere it's very close it's very close and the funniest that's the wrong word weirdest thing about this is i guess they did it to protect hacksaw but he wasn't protected he was still dead yokozuna killed him he was helpless in the ring we're missing the, the, the technicality of a third pinfall count by a referee. You're right, Vinny, but back then, back then, it really mattered to people if you got your hand raised. Mm. And so I'm sure that they were doing Hacksaw Jim Duggan versus Yokozuna on the road. I'm sure they were trying to sell fucking tickets. They didn't want Hacksaw to get pinned. They wanted to be able to sell tickets. He didn't get actually beaten in this match. I'm sure that was the mindset. It's fucking stupid to have a disqualification in a fucking lumberjack match. All I've been watching for 25 fucking minutes is dude beating the shit out of people outside the ring. One guy jumps in the ring and is a fucking DQ. Golly. My Horse question, shit. My question was, why did Bam Bam jump up on the ring apron to distract the ref in the first place? Well, because yeah. apparently there were disqualifications in yeah. a fucking lumberjack match, so he was trying to distract the ref so someone else could hit the fucking guy. Yeah, but what was his end game? He was, didn't have beef with either of these two guys. It just seemed completely out of place, and anyway. Because it was dumb. Thank you. Because it was fucking I mean, it was dumb. Dumb. It was God really dumb. help me. Dumbest thing I saw all day. I mean, the match is pretty good, though. Yeah. Find a better hacksaw match in WWE. You won't. You won't find one, Vinny. Not one. Zero. Not in WWE. No. He did have that one match with Goldberg in WCW. <laughs> That's right, actually. <laughs> yeah, This guy could get the crowd behind him. You know that? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's popular. My dad's favorite wrestler. I'm sure he's many dad's favorite wrestlers. Yeah. Hard-working common man. Very that. popular. Yeah. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler. And then go into images. And then go into GIFs. <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. 
If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.